Secretary Anthony Albanese has also backed Biden and hailed his contributions to America. He has said that uh, it remains the honor of his life to work for President Biden. He said that Biden has uh, restored U.S. leadership around the world and delivered historic accomplishments as president. In fact, joining us at this point of time is Mr. Himan Shubat, senior journalist. So thank you so much for taking out time and speaking to us on NewsX. I just want to understand from you, um, you know, why, in your assessment, why do you think, um, you know, in, in Biden's mind, why, why, why would you think that Kamala Harris is the best choice uh, for president, you know, of course, um, uh, we, against Donald Trump. What do you think and how uh, would she perhaps respond uh, to, of course, uh, you know, the concurrent wars that are going on and other such matters as well? Who has the upper hand? Well, I think uh, what Democrats have been thinking, that is what I gather, what I learned from, is something, you know, if not by then, it has to be a woman this time. So that for them, the choice was narrowed down to Michelle, Obama, Kamala Harris, Hillary Clinton, and one more. But then, Biden, who had a four years of running mate, you know, she, Kamala Harris was his mate. She was a vice president. Hmm. And there's nothing noteworthy that Kamala Harris has done in four years' time. You know, not even in the immigration issue, anything, you know, she's not spoken anything. She's not done anything noteworthy. But, the first, first lady president is something what Democrats are looking about. That I think, you know, is the most big, the biggest factor. And I, I, I have a feeling, you know, Biden is not in a mental state, you know, where, you know, he could think of this thing or that thing and, Think better for the country. He's, not, he, he's, he's in a vegetative state. To be put it, to put it very, very clearly, in a vegetative state of mind, I don't think whatever he chooses matters. But then when he's endorsed Kamala Harris, that's just you know because she was the vice president for four years, she was a maid, and she's been dedicated to the Biden administration. And I don't see you know she coming as a big thing. But since you know a Democratic candidate who was Biden, has endorsed her, it's going to be, you know, Kamala Harris who's going to be fighting in place of her. And uh, do, uh, do I see any changes? I don't think so. And uh, looking at all these things, yes, Kamala Harris can debate. May not have taken decisions, but she can debate. But when you compare her with Donald Trump, Trump has a definite connect with the people. And Trump is up, upright, you know. Fourth writer is expressing his views. Well, what is good for India, what is not good for India, some people might jump Kamala Harris as a Indian blood and this and that. And, but, you know, it's a very stated and known policy of Kamala Harris to be anti-BJP. So I don't see anything, you know, coming with the advantages. Or if you see, you know, what Parikhan was telling before me, I think. And he said that very clearly and very correctly that Biden administration has done nothing to ever, you know, Israel, Hamas conflict or Ukraine, uh, Russia war or any of those things. On the contrary, they have been fueling this thing. So I, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't foresee much change. Maybe a change of personnel will change, you know, reinvigorate Democrat campaign. That could be, if you can say. And, but I always, you know, after, and especially after last, last week's assassination attempt, I see Trump to be a forerunner. How much will it translate? Because there have been a huge demographic change. And by you, in last election, Democrats had a 7 billion lead over Republicans. And in American democracy, it's very hard to take that over. So that also will have to be kept in mind. So who has the upper hand? Well, that's for American people to decide. I wish it could be Trump, you know, because when you compare to, I would always prefer Trump. Yes, Asha. Right, sir, absolutely. Um, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast, sharing your perspectives.